Okay, my loves. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's me. Tori and Goddess coming in with another message. We're about to check the energy again and see what else is going on. And then I'm out the dough. I'm out the dough. Like, share, subscribe, comment, or not. You know? Or not. However you feel. It's okay. I'm smiling. We want to see what's going on, though. What's good with my subscribers? You know I always want to make sure y'all good. I got a confirmation of a personal reading I did a couple weeks ago. Although, you know, I don't feel as though it was in her favor. It was confirmation. Um, I get confirmation a lot through my personal readings. I do. I do. Um, right now, I feel like there's some irreversible damage going on with some sibling rivalry. It's been too much cockamamie bullshit and you feel like you can't fix it. Yeah. You feel like you can't fix it. Somebody was looking at your smooka doop, the G said. Somebody was looking at your smooka doop, one of your siblings. And you like, what part of the game is this? Both ends. I feel like that. You don't see. Thank you, Most High. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Angels and ancestors. For keeping us safe and keeping us protected and knocking us up off of shit with roads. We may not be unscathed. We have some blemishes, but we heal up. We heal up and we know we don't have to heal by trauma bonds and we can heal while we somewhere happy. That's what the G said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody probably do need to take a step back. I don't feel as though it need to be any irreversible damage. But the G said is you like you at the highest point of positivity. It might be some distance created, the G said. Mm -hmm. What's up with this neighbor? What's the irreversible damage? Somebody had a one night stand. With somebody's smooth. With somebody, some one of your siblings, somebody's sibling had a one night stand with someone you were in a soul contract with. This person is meant to be in your life. This person is meant to be in your life. The G said. You paying attention now. You paying attention. I feel as though it's about to be an ending. You trying to keep your cool. G said, yeah, step back. Because you feel like you about to do a whole 360, not a 180. You about to go back to the point of origin. To the point of, no. You... The G said, always oh, don't open new doors. Has several seats, ma'am, sir. Yes, queen of king. And we ain't on no gangster, gangster. Not right now. I feel like somebody is hurting. What else? Somebody hurting. Something may have happened this summer. You found out this summer about this little hookup. That Gemini energy. Air energy. You found out about a hookup. Um, somebody saw it. Like, I just, this one was off limits. This one was off limits. The G said. This one was off limits. This is most definitely some family issues going on. 
um, the person could have been born in the winter. Hey, the person could have been born in a winter. And this could have been happening since the winter. I don't feel like it was just no one night stand. It's something that's been going on for a minute. Mm. I feel like it's been going on for a minute. Summer not over. I feel like you're going to land out this summer. What else? Yeah. That Aquarius energy now. There's definitely some air out here. Air energy, an air sign. Maybe dealing with a water sign. You may be dealing with a water sign. Or Taurus, or Libra, but you did most definitely not happy. I got Libra, Taurus, Aquarius out here. Winner, Libra again. She says you in love. What else? Got Pisces, Gemini energy again too. I most is most definitely an air sign and a water sign, an earth sign. An earth sign is out here too, but you have a soul tie, soul ties, because it's sibling rivalry. You hear me? It's sibling rivalry. It's a uh, Smashes can be past, present, and future. But it's most definitely some sibling rivalry surrounding somebody's little smoop. Looking at somebody's smoop like, damn, you sexy. Let me see what that do. And it was a, I can't even say a slip up. Somebody deliberately um, screwed their sibling's mate. This is somebody that their sibling has a soul tie with. This person is meant to be in their life. Um, they got a contract with them, a soul contract with them. Um, they were supposed to cross paths. The energy feels rocky. The energy feels like it's been rocky. But the G said this air sign been praying for some type of insight. This Gemini, this Libra, or this Aquarius has been praying for some type of insight. Something about to happen this fall. We're not out of the summer yet, right? Something about to happen this fall. G said, it's going to be some new things that's going to have to be tested. He said, what's new change is good. Change is good. Somebody's neighbor may be a fire sign. Yeah, somebody's neighbor may be a fire sign. A Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. Um, I feel like it's about to be some unexpected good news through a message. Did you see it? You got some incoming mail from a fire sign a Sagittarius a Aries or Leo it got to do with this one night stand it got to do with this one night stand I feel like it's going to be reliable you're going to be it's going to be supported you ain't going to be able to do nothing but respect it and accept it because this person trying to back you up. So it's some, I, I feel as though they was getting it in and stop, then they get it in and then stop again. Like 
you know, they ain't want to be found out because I got winter, spring, summer out here. But in the fall, oh, it's it's going to fall because I don't think it's been made known yet. Motherfuckers fake. They ain't true, the G said. Um, and misery love company. And you've been reliable with that, they said, because you've been miserable and you're keeping... You 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 have adapted to this negative energy. They said your antenna's not up. This is some fucked up ass energy. What else? Cancer. She said somebody most somebody's intuition most definitely is sensitive. They are highly sensitive because it's heightened. They got a sixth sense. They're wise. They're very intuitive. Um, you, I said your antenna's been up. 11, 11 on the clock. Look that up. Put those. Yeah, somebody is highly intuitive. And my G said, this shit was written in the stars. It was. It's a, because it's something that's been happening for a while. It's something that's been happening for a while, not just with this person. I feel like, you know, throughout history with your sibling. I have to shake some shit up though. The universe, the universe about to shake some shit up because you're undeserving of this, of of these acts of betrayal is what the G said. At this point in time, you're trying to do the right thing, and you receiving nothing but. Deceitful as nothing as I don't value you as a person as behavior from this sibling and and your um your smooth. I feel like you catering to everybody's needs. Yeah, you you catering to everybody's needs. You got this this go getter energy. Yeah, you got this goat getter energy. Um, you all for family. Yeah, you all for family. The G says your family values up, but it's most definitely some family issues that's going to make you want to try new things. And these new things is going to be you creating distance between you and your sibling. And I feel as though you ain't going to want to look back, the G said. The G says you're gonna take a vacation. You're gonna bring the gavel down and it's gonna it's you gonna try to make it permanent. But I, I said, you know, you very family oriented person, male or female, um, you're gonna create some distance. It won't be for a long haul, bro. You most definitely gonna have to go in hermit mode because the G said old ways don't open new doors. They don't want you to Go off your rockers. But they said, don't look back. They said, don't look back. They said, remove yourself. They said, remove yourself religiously. Um, y'all unevenly yoked anyway. Y'all don't see eye to eye. I don't even think y'all have the same religious views that G said. You and your person. Um, y'all are opposed to every like, want, and need. Y'all not even on the same wavelength. Um, I feel as though your person thought that your sibling would be a nice ride, so to speak. You know, um, just something to do. But they, they got addicted. Like sitting on the front porch, summer breeze type shit. Yeah. Yeah, but somebody, 
somebody came in between them um, getting it in like that. Yeah, somebody came in between them getting it in like that. A fire sign. A fire sign came in between them getting it in like that. And this person was contracted as well. It's been some lessons learned. Folk been going down shit brick roads, learning lessons because they didn't get it the first, second, third time around. Like I said, you and your sibling may have been um passing mates back and forth, but you didn't tell your sibling that this one was. Yeah, y'all been doing that since throwback stages, since y'all childhood, you know. Um, but you didn't really tell your sibling that this one was off limits. I feel as though your sibling is looking now like, damn, sis, bruh, in love with this one because I got this. I'm so in love out here. And they scared to talk to you and tell you about it. Yeah, they be thinking about you, grieving about it, trying to, they try to humble themselves when they come around you too. When they come around you too, they do. Trying to not have no eye contact with your person, the G said. But you kind of already thought about it. That's what the G says. You, you already thought about it. But you rose above that notion. Because you wanted to bring the gavel down in the past. They said you have a different vision though. You have a different outlook on um on this relationship status, I guess, with your person. That's Scorpio out here now. Um, you feel like everything is attainable elsewhere, and normally you're goal oriented. They say to rise above um living yeah to to rise above living below emotional influences <laughs> you know um but they said you're for knock it here they say because it's in your face they said it's in your face i feel as though your person is um paying attention Paying attention to you pulling away. They pay attention to your flex book and your IG. Whichever social media account that you may be on on a regular, they pay attention to that. They may see how you interact with folk. Um, how you have these discussions with other, um, the, the opposite gender, the opposite sex. And they like, let me shake my shit up. Because like I say, they, they know that they ain't shit. I may have not said that. They know that they ain't shit. Um, they may have been trying to get quick tight with you again and stimulate them damn brain cells because y'all y'all are y'all not on the on the same level. Y'all y'all don't even have the same interest. Y'all don't Y'all don't have the same views in life that Jesus said. It's going to be some irreversible damage. And the chains and the box is about to just break. This bondage will be no more because you feel like you're in prison already. You already feel like this person on games and don't want you to Jesus said. Yeah, that's how you feel. That's what they said. That's how you feel. That's what they said. Let's see what else. It's a power struggle. They are playing games and juggling, not just with your sibling, the G said. But they are playing games, and they know it all. But this betrayal, though, this betrayal is one for the records. You may have some money coming in, too, the G said, by playing games. Somebody may play the lottery. 
Um, but you got some financial rewards coming. Yeah, you got some financial. It'll be small, but shit. It's going to lie in the pocket. They said you'll be satisfied. Um, There's going to be some consequences behind these actions a lot. That's going to make you probably move physically, the G said. Yeah, you're going to change your address. You're going to want to pick up, pack all your shit and move and, and, and create some distance. Like, motherfucker got to call me before you even think about coming to see me type of goddamn commute. Mm-hmm. But you're going to be cutting folk off. You're going to be cutting folk off. Ain't nothing, ain't neither one going to be important no more. Yeah. The G said ain't neither one going to be important no more. Uh, they want you to know that your person is a karmic. They want you to feed your mind about what a karmic is. Read up on that. Yeah, they said exercise your mind. Take a class on what a karmic is, what a soulmate is, and what a twin flame is so you can know the difference. It may not be that important right now, what they said you will be wanting to know soon. Yep. Um, your sibling going to fight for this love, though. They are. They're going to fight for it. Semi. It's going to really feel playful, I think, when you confront them. And that's going to piss you off. But they want you to know your person, they fake. They phony. They fake. They phony. Your sibling ain't going to have the right energy when you confront them. And it's going to piss you off. The G said they want you to breathe. Recognize your breath. They said they want you to recognize that jail time is not even a given because that's not that shouldn't be a given thought. Head busted. No. No, 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 no. They said you on your destined path. Don't do nothing to knock you off. I feel like um, you, you you got a nice job. Uh, everything else in your world just about right now. Um, yeah, everything else in your world right now is okay. Outside of this fuck shit. They don't want you to fuck up everything else behind this. They want you to know this shit, Rick Rose, you can go on. And make a U-turn. You ain't even got to travel all the way down that bitch. Make a U-turn. And when you get to the, when you get to where you, you started, you can go either which way you want to. You can continue straight on up off the brick. I mean, the shit brick road. Go left or go right. They said whichever path you take is going to be your destined path away from this karmic relationship, this negative energy. You feel as though it's your best love ever. G said you need to pray. You need to pray. They want you to know your angels are all around you too. You need to pray on this Tina and Rick fire and desire good love you want. A love that's worth exploring is what you want, right? They said pray on it. Your angels around you. Stay prayed up. Um, I hate that one of y'all going through this. I do. I can't stand this energy. Stay prayed up. And if you want a personal, let me know. My G said, heck you know. Why even go there? No. Don't go there. That's a dead end. Karma is a bitch. It is. Karma is a bitch. So it's just as quick as you pop off, just as quick as you can have your ass with some cuffs on, or just as quick as you can, you know, fuck up your whole, yeah, cuffs is fucking up your whole life, right? Hell yeah. Or somebody going to somebody's hospital, that's fucking up your whole life, right? You stressing yourself out. Um, to that point, and I can 
I can attest to that because I've been very stressed out these past few weeks. And I need to slow my road. That's what the G's saying, to slow your road. They want you to woosah when this information falls in your lap because it's going to come to you. And I hate that's going to come to you like that. But they said karma, bitch, the wheel... The wheels of freaking karma is spinning. It's going to seem like everything is fucked up to be damned in your world. But they said, no, this is a blessing in disguise. Because you stuck, they said, and you won't remove yourself. But they about to make you remove yourself. Because you're causing yourself to be in too much pain, sadness, and grief. When it is too many parties in your relationship. This shit brick road, you about to get up off of it, they said. Because this person foul as fuck. You may not want to fuck with your sibling for a moment. I feel like somebody's ancestors coming in here, your angel, when your guardian angel is talking about, no, I'll break down the patterns. Be real. They said be real because it's something that y'all, y'all been doing for a while. Somebody's un- daddy, uncle. Yeah. Granny, seeing something, like break down these patterns. Yeah, your actions speak, be real. Karma is a bitch, but, you know, boundaries is what I heard. Those have to be set. They do. Somebody can be trusted, the G said. You would know who that person is, they said as well. This person been telling you that this person is not yours. Or this person coming is going to tell you that this person is not yours. They for the community. They said you can take that to be true. You can take it to be true. This might be outside of um your sibling messing with your person. That's going to be a what the fucking hell moment. They want you to stay confident because right now you don't have no self confidence. You don't. Know that you can call on your angels. You can pray the most high. They want you to meditate and stay in prayer anyway because you're going to need to vibe high and surround yourselves with people who are going to pick you up. And they say don't have any self pity or no embarrassment either. All love to you. Y'all stay safe.